वेलकम टू माय साइड कोर्ट डायरीज आई एम जितेंद्र घाणेकर एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो बाय साइड कोर पावर शेल एक्सटेंशन एसपी पार्ट टू इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव वी हैव स्टार्टेड द साइड कोर पावर शेल एक्सटेंशन बट आई सो व्हाई व्हाइल एडिटिंग आई रियलाइज दैट दैट वीडियो वाज बिकमिंग टू लॉन्ग सो आई हैव ब्रोकन डाउन इनटू टू पार्ट्स सो दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द ऑफ दिस वीडियो साइड कोर पावर शेल एक्सटेंशन in last video we have seen installation of sp module tools in site core options available to execute the script how, how to run ps script how to debug ps script or how to save the ps script and use it into the site core jobs and then how to check the ps log in the site core in this video we are going to see a few useful syntax uh, uh, of the ps and then a sample ps script before starting let me request you if you if you are liking the video please click on the like button do share with your friends and colleague and do provide your feedback via the comment and if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and please click on a bell icon to get a latest update so let's start today's topic okay now we have we have reached to the uh, very important section of the video uh, useful ps syntax so we will see few ps syntax powershell syntax i side core powershell syntax okay if you want to insert any comment then you have to use a hash okay if you want to is uh, comment anything you you can use hash if you want to use a line break then you have to use a backtick switch database so if you want to switch the database the command in cd master so this will switch your database to master if you want to switch the some other database then you can use this command then comparison okay this is very important table okay so if you in your if statement you want to uh, do a comparison okay so the, the the syntax is not similar what we use in the our c sharp it's something different okay so if you want to have the less than then you have to use a minus lt if you have to use a less than or equal to you have a minus le minus gt will stand for greater than minus g is greater than or equal to minus eq is equal to minus any is not equal to minus like is a like and minus not like is a not like so this is what you can use in your if statement or if you want to use uh, any uh, you want to do any comparison then these are the keywords which you can use for the for comparison let's move if loop okay so if you want to execute the if loop so if you see here in this code okay i want to ch check the change by okay change by so if you want to use the if statement it's a similar what we use in the uh, 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 the syntax is similar in what you use in the c sharp if you see if you have bracket and where just that comparison the way you are comparing is different here you can have uh, you uh, we have already seen what are the comparison uh, keys we can use so minus eq is equal to okay so this is how you can uh, check if look and then you have a else if okay there is no space between the else and if okay and then last you can have a else so this is how you can uh, you can use the if loop for loop it's exactly similar to what we have in the uh, for uh, our c sharp uh, okay so for here dollar a this is how you will define the variable dollar a okay you you can use a dollar to define your variable okay and then initiate it with one then semicolon then your comparison okay your condition okay dollar a minus le less than three okay plus this is similar what you do in the c sharp a dollar a plus plus so that will increase the a value and i'm printing dollar a here so that will give you one two three <coughs> switch test statement here you can compare this switch statement like switch here or language we are comparing here okay it's simple than the I mean, it's a bit different than what we use to do it in c sharp okay if you see there is no case here okay so you can have a default you can have whatever the en that is the selection that uh, accordingly you can write in there go, go open and uh, close curly bracket okay this is a bit different in what you have in the c sharp for each okay almost same in c sharp also you have a do, gate in child, child item here what we are doing is dot is whatever the result of this will give you the uh, uh, 
all the list of a child item okay that you are doing it in for each dollar i so dollar i will hold the each value okay so that we are typing the name so if you see here the name we have typed of the item so basically whatever the context item the child will have these four children so they are having okay the so parent have these four children so this is how you can write in the for each loop So there is a command called uh, formatting. So how can you format the uh, your result? Okay. So uh, if you see in this command, what I'm doing is get item path contact home language star. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the uh, uh, this path language. Okay, like the home page. Okay, for all the languages. So whatever home pages are there to log out all the languages. So if you see how we can pass the language minus language star. Star means all the language. So you want to specify any specific language, then you can add here that language in the uh, in the string. Okay, like if you want to want, want uh, in en, then you can have a star the apostrophe uh, not apostrophe the en quoted here. Okay, then it will give you the result of en or encl encl enca. You will have a enca result. Now you want to format this uh, whatever the result which is coming indeed when you are displaying it. So in that case, what we have to do is a pipe. What does the pipe does? Whatever the result which is getting that object it passed to the next line. Okay, so next it is passing to the another pipeline. So from one place to uh, one pipe to another pipe it is getting passed. So this is pipe separated here. So whatever the result will come, that format table is the uh, query. Okay, so what is the syntax for the format table? Format hyphen table minus property. So what are the different properties which you want to uh, display? So why want to display display name, language, ID, version, and template? Okay, if I execute this command, I will get this result. If you see, this is a formatted version of your result. Okay, so this is one thing where you can use the format table. There is one other very important uh, syntax is the uh, show list for okay so now what is happening show list now here instead of format i have i'm using show list here okay show list minus property everything is remains same now what does show list does it, it doesn't uh, display the result in your uh for psc but it opens the dialog box okay this is the dialog box is the reason open the result and here you have the options to filter as well as to get the data in the different different type of a format like you can take data, data in the csv excel html json xml or you can remail also this data so this is how you can you can uh, use the show list view to download uh, your result into the different file formats okay now we will see how to define an array so i want to define an uh, uh, string array here if you see here gate item path that is my string array okay where you can define how can you define that add the rate open uh, bracket uh, then you close it and then you have your strings here quite comma something that is how you will define your uh, string array okay if you want to define an integer variable it is dollar i is equal to one so that is how you will define the variable now for each loop we have already seen this loop okay here i am i am looping every item of the gate item path so i am looping here for each child item in gate item path now what i am doing here is i am publishing the id uh, i am publishing the uh, every item so here two items are there so i am publishing each item here where this is the publish item is the command okay to publishing the item so minus id so child id is your id so here i am passing the id so if you see uh, the uh, string array it contains the id so the child item which i am publishing so publish minus item id so it is publishing this id target is a web database and language is star so i can uh, uh, <coughs> uh, i am publishing all the languages okay uh, i'm not going in the uh, detail of publish item okay this this uh, the commands all the commands there are many commands you can you can uh, I, I will try to provide you the references where you can get these commands okay then here i am writing the uh, my logs or the content uh, on the screen okay if you see here i can use my uh, variables like dollar i directly here okay child item okay i am directly using it by using dollar okay and i am here i am doing the arithmetic operation that is i plus plus i can do it or i plus one so this is an integer operation which i am doing once i run this uh, uh, 
uh, script it will publish the uh, the individual id individual item to the web okay so this is how uh, you can write define your arrays or define your variables and write your uh, commands and the uh, the uh, the logs so now let's see a sample script for finding no reference media so i am giving you a sample script where you can uh, you are trying to find out the media items which are not referred anywhere okay so the uh, what i am doing is i am trying to uh, i am not uh, searching or finding the item in all the media library but i am trying to give you the folders within the media library so there is a array list which i have created a dollar folders where i can give the arrays of a folder names okay so i am trying to find out the media items from the folder systems and images where there is no images so this variable is for created then we are using the uh, we are passing this folder uh, uh, dollar folder folders to the for each object right so the we are looping the uh, uh, this script okay so a dollar folder is passed to this object for each object uh, function uh, or a loop okay and then we are calling the uh, the function gate media items okay where we are passing the path now gate media item is a custom function which we need to write okay so how does it looks like so this is the gate media item function which is basically checking the media item reference or not okay so it is returning uh, whether the item is uh, referred or not okay and i'm also writing here whether it is referred no reference or reference so i'm writing the whole writing the uh, values here okay so what it does it is para this is look at how the functions are written function gate media item so here you use a gate media item so what are the different parameters we have you have a dollar path so this is the dollar path okay then uh, what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to find out the items like from this dollar path okay so dollar side so i'm getting all the item uh, sorry i'm getting this item dollar path so what basically happen is if i pass the system here in the loop first so whatever the system node that will come here and then what i am doing is i am trying to find out the gate descendant of that node so system whatever the item within that where the template name is not equal to media folder so there might be a multiple folder inside the folder which is built on the media folder okay so if you have a multiple you have a different uh, type of a uh, uh, folder then you can add your condition here okay but for me it's a media folder only so that's why i've uh, given the, the uh, condition here so we don't want an media folder in our list okay we want only the items so, okay so that is how we are selecting is and then we are looping that all the items which are getting we are looping it and there is another function here has reference which we have we are calling now what is that function here is the has reference function okay where we are passing the parameter as an item okay and what we are trying to do is we are where does the reference are stored it is in the link database okay so in the link database we are trying to find out whether that item is there or not there is a refer count is greater than zero or not if it is zero then it is it is not referred okay so there is a, this function has reference okay which is where you are passing the uh, the item and we are checking whether that item has any reference in the link database if it has any, uh, any reference then we are writing is that it, it is referred okay and if it is not then with no reference so this is how you uh, this is a sample example of your media item okay now uh, this is done when you have a bulk of items right if you have a lot of items you cannot go and check every item in that case you write this item when you execute this item you will find the result like this so what you see is uh, it is writing which item has a record and which doesn't has a uh, reference okay so this is how you can write a uh, write a script okay this is a sample script okay <coughs> where you can uh, finding the uh, whether the media has a references or not so we are done for today uh, uh, if you like the video please click on a like button to share with your friends and so uh, colleagues and do provide your feedback via the comment and if you are not subscribed to the channel uh, please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update if you any if you have any questions that you can connect me on my gmail id or, or my linkedin id thank you thanks for watching